Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Jason. All right, so this question says the timber framework is showing support for a cast in place concrete slab, and the six inch concrete slab is placed on the uh, three quarter inch plywood sheeting that is supported by two by four joists spaced 18 inch on center. And there are stringers four by six that are spaced at five feet apart. And the shores directly on the stringers are six by six and are spaced at six feet intervals along the stringers. And there are concrete weights, 150 PSCF, and a construction life load, 20 PSF. And we assume that that load is 4 PSF. All right. So the question is, what is the maximum bending moment on one of the internal joists? All right. So I, I think this is a very good picture that's showing a, um, a regular traditional wood structure and also demonstrate a very clear low path for gravity load. Okay, so for this example, we are having this um, structure that's supporting a casting place concrete slab on top. Okay, so this slab is sitting on top of the, uh, the plywood sheeting. So this gravity load is going to transfer through this plywood sheeting to the joist and then transfer to the stringers, the longitudinal stringers, and then finally directly uh, applied to these shorts. Okay, so um, this question is we're going to determine the maximum bending moment on one of the internal joists. Okay, so this is our joist. Okay. So, the first thing we need to know is what are the tributary area on those joists, okay? Since we are already being provided with 18-inch uh, on center spacing, so that means this joist is going to have a tributary ar area with 18-inch, okay? And the next thing we need to do is calculate our load, right? So. I have already prepared the uh, the formula that we needed to calculate the loads. So first of all, we have this concrete with a unit weight 150 PCF. And the thickness of this slab is 6 inch converted to feet. And then the tributary span is going to be 18 inch. So your um, uniform distributed load line load is going to be 112.5 PLF. Okay. And then we're going to use the same concept to calculate the construction live load and dead load. So for a live load, we have 20 PSF, right? And then the span is not going to be the 18 inch. So the uh, line load for live load is going to be 30 PLF. The dead load it's going to be 4 PSF times 18 inch. So it's going to be 6 POF. Then the total load is going to be 112.5 plus 30 plus 6. So that's going to be 148.5 POF. So this is the line load that's going to sit on top of this joist. Okay. So this look at the uh, support for this joist. Since this joist is sitting, sitting on top of three stringer, so it is going to be a two-span continuous beam, right? It look like this. So the maximum moment can be determined using the formula that provided in your steel manual table 3-22C. The maximum bending moment is going to be W times L squared divided by 8. And W is your line load, the uh, uniform distribute load, 148.5, and L is the span, so it's going to be 5 feet, so times 5 squared divided by 8, so your maximum moment is 464 pound foot, okay, so it's closest to your answer C, all right, okay, so that's it for today, thank you for watching.